Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am going to be doing your reading for January 15th through the 21st. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising. And I just need to remind you that if it doesn't resonate, just take what does and leave the rest. This is a general reading for a large audience. Now this is my Ask Angels deck. So what you need to do at this point is ask a question. Ask a question. Be thinking of your question. And at the end of this reading, I will re reveal the card, okay? So just be thinking of a question. And this is typically a yes or no answer or a reason to, or, or, or a way to obtain your, your answer. You know, something like that. Hmm, what am I going to do here? What Capricorn? And we will put it right here. Now I have pre-shuffled this deck for you all, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. This is for the sign of Capricorn. I'm going to try to combine the general with the love. We're going to start with the general portion, I think, but with that lover's card reversed, you know, you never know. Oh, things may seem a little out of balance. You may be at a stalemate right now. You may be thinking about ending something, but you're not quite there yet. There could be some kind of uh, breakup on the horizon. You know, you may have broken up recently. or You may be thinking about it. There's something going on, okay? There's definitely something going on behind the scenes, okay? I think there's some kind of cycles here that... You know, maybe, you know, it's like that seven-year cycle itch or whatever, the seven-year itch. I don't know what it is, but there's some kind of uh, cycle that is either close to ending or close to beginning, okay? Because with that moon card, there's some kind of cycles here. There's also something hidden, okay? There's something hidden, and I think you guys are really seeking balance. You're seeking, you're seeking, okay? You're seeking um newness within perhaps a relationship i'm not sure um there, there's definitely a some kind of break on the horizon and it's all up to you okay it's it's decision making time and you guys are are like in oh what's the word for it You're not ready to make the decision, put it that way. It's like, I know that I need to make a decision, but I'm not quite ready to make it. And you may be just pretending that everything's okay when everything is not okay, okay? It's like you, you're you ready for something to end, but you're not taking the steps that you need to take to let it end, okay? Or to make it end. Um, you could be dealing with some legal issues. Somebody could be lying, okay? You know that they're lying, Somebody in your life could be being dishonest. And it's funny, I was going to say hermit mode earlier, but I didn't. When I couldn't think, you know, my mind went blank. I was thinking about hermit mode, and that's weird. Here it is. It feels like you guys are really focusing. It's a time of solitude. I really am trying to make a decision here, you know. And that's probably why I went silent, because I was trying to make a decision as to what words needed to come out. So I'm probably thinking that that's exactly what you guys are doing. How am I going to speak my mind? How am I going to go through this? What am I going to do? I I think that you guys are really focusing on your future. You're taking a time out to contemplate what you really want, you know? What is it that I want? That kind of thing. And and because of that, you may be in a a mode of um I just I just need to be alone. I just want to be alone. I really don't want to talk about it right now that kind of thing you know in some in silence speaks volumes okay silence speaks volumes so i'm feeling like it's it's your it, you are feeling liberated in by taking the time to focus by taking the time to figure this out that's your own liberation okay you guys are really doing what you need to do for you. You're having confidence in your decisions. And that's why you're doing this, is so that you can make the most confident, best 
decision for yourself. I see that's what it is. And this is probably regarding something that you love. You know, maybe it's about having children, whether you want to have another child or not, or whether you want to have a child, period. I, there's, it's definitely a feeling of it's decision-making time, and you're taking all the time you need to make the right decision, okay? Perhaps somebody wants to go you to go down a, a different road that you've never been down, and you're like, uh -huh, I'm not so sure if I really want to do this. But you're, you're taking the time to really think about it before you do you know, because you don't want to make the wrong decision. It's like, I don't want to go in this, I don't want to go into this blinded, you know. I, I need to make sure that this is the right thing, okay, if, I, if I'm really ready for it. It just feels like you guys have your guard up against something because you, you're you really not sure. So you're just, you're going to take the slow approach that you normally would take. Other people might think that you're procrastinating, but I don't see it as that. I see it as you trying to make the right decision if this is really where you want to go, okay? So I think that, that this week, is it's that you guys are, it's like a week of solitude and focusing on your future. What is it that I want? What is it that I want? Is this really what I want? Because this is really going to, if I go down this road, it's definitely going to bring big changes into my life. Um, you know, and I'm going to have to make some compromises, you know, and it's like, I'm not sure if I want to do that. I'm not sure if I'm ready to compromise all of this for what you want. Something like that. That's what I see for a general reading, the general portion of this. I feel like, you know, somebody may be wanting you to do something that you're not quite sure about. All right. So you're taking the time you need to contemplate and so that you don't go into it with blinders on. Okay, so that's part of it. Now we're going to move into love. It's like I just don't want to make do the right, wrong thing. I'm trying to do the right thing here and you may feel like, you know, I'm not even sure if you're if if you're the right one for me, so I'm not sure if I want to do that right yet. You know what I mean? Somebody might be asking you to do something that's a strong commitment and would cause you to make some serious compromises, and you're like, ah, I'm not so sure about this. You're not so sure if they're being honest with you. It's like, are you are you even telling me the truth? You know, am I? Is this even? true you know what I mean it's like there's some unknown factors here I don't even know enough about you to to really be sure that I can trust you that kind of energy somebody wants to have a baby or is thinking about having a baby and it's coming up strong for me and you're just like I'm not so sure I'm not so sure you know it feels like there's there's a feeling of um, breakdown. Like, what if this breaks apart and I'm, I'm stuck on my own? Now, I'm not sure this isn't for every single person that's watching this, but it is for somebody. It's like there's, there's some kind of um, birth of some sort that somebody wants, you know, that wants to have. But the other person, perhaps it's you, is like, I'm not so sure. I'm not sure if this is where I, if I'm ready for this okay and if you aren't thinking about having a baby it's time for a renewal okay it's time for a rebirth it's time for you to love yourself again okay so that's what that empress says that empress says it's time to um, give yourself um, gentle compassion all right there's been some kind of uh, breakdown. There has. And this is a love portion of the reading. Perhaps there's even been a breakup. Something has come crashing down that has changed everything within a relationship. And now it's time for a renewal. Now it's time for a rebirth. It's like, I have to do what's right for me. I mean, that's that's it's pretty clear. Um, there's definitely a very motherly energy nurturing energy this week around you whether it's you needing to nurture yourself or somebody looking for you to nurture them um there's there's been a period of depression and anxiety 
and now somebody just wants to be taken care of. Now, I don't know who that is. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's time for you to take care of yourself because something has crashed. There's been some kind of breakdown that is really causing somebody to rethink this whole thing, whatever it is. Um, this idea, okay? This idea. Somebody is rethinking this whole idea. I mean... Do I really want this renewal? Do I really want this birth? Do I really want this? Or do I really want to stay here in this spot that I've been where we've not been really moving forward? Something, I mean, because this can go so many different ways. There's a bunch of different people here um, watching it. It's, yeah, there's like, somebody's trying to build their legacy. Somebody wants to build their legacy. There's something to do with children here. I think somebody wants to have a child, and the other person doesn't, you know? And I'm, I'm not sure who this is for, but it's like, or they do, but they want to make sure it's the right time. They want to make sure that they're ready to compromise their freedom, you know? And, and perhaps that's caused an argument. So if that is for somebody, and I don't know who. Um, but anyhow, it feels, and then I see that, Somebody has become withdrawn from the situation. Somebody, and if, if it, you are an older person and you are, you know, not even thinking about having children, then that empress is here to say it's time for you to start something else. It's time for you to start a new, a new life, okay? A new path. Um, with that queen of pentacles, somebody's fire has been put out. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles. What the hell? That's you, Queen of Wands. So that must be you. That's funny. That is, or Queen. That is amazing. Anyway, um, somebody feels like their fire has been put out, or that their fire will be put out. You know, their exciting, adventurous life will be um, over. You know, if they go down this route, or if you're older, <coughs> if you're an older woman. Or man that's watching this, you may be feeling like your fire head has been put out and it's time for a renewal. It's time for me to shine again. Okay? Because it can go both ways. I just really feel like somebody is lacking <coughs> excitement in their life. They're lacking passion and they're not quite sure what the next step is, but they're wanting more. Okay? And... So there's, there's like, this is for two different types of people, this whole reading. One of it is for people that are younger and are of childbearing age. And the other is for people that are not of childbearing age. So people that are of childbearing age, you know, I feel like there could certainly be a pregnancy on the horizon. And you're not so sure you want to compromise your whole life for it. And then for the other people, I feel like you have been stuck in a situation where there's no more passion, no more excitement, um, and you're thinking, you know what, it's time for a rebirth of myself, a rebirth of my soul, you know? So there could be a change in home, there could be a change in environment, you know, you could be contemplating moving because there, you were involved in a false foundation. Now this tower card is here for both situations. There's some kind of shocking um, thing that comes about that makes you really think, okay? That makes you really think, is this what I want? That opens your eyes. When this, when this tower comes out, I often call it the universe. Even though the world card is the universe, I often call the tower the universe. It's like the universe coming in and saying, hey, 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 I'm here to open your eyes, Okay, and that is in both scenarios, okay, whether you are of childbearing age or not. Something has happened or is going to happen that opens your eyes to make you rethink something, okay. There's been a period of dis depression and despair in both situations where somebody's not happy. Somebody's not happy and they're thinking about letting go. They're thinking about not moving forward in this situation, Um, I'm going to see what we can get for love out of these angel romance cards. But somebody's fire has been put out or somebody's thinking about putting it out, you know. And they're like, I'm not sure if I even want to go there, you know. Or I've been there too long and I can't do this anymore, you know, because it can go both ways. Because this is for two different sets of people. 
somebody's not quite ready to or settle down to have children or have another child or something and their partner is or if you're older somebody feels like they're ready to move on move on because it's time for a renewal it's time for a transformation it's time for a rebirth time to get creative ah I knew I knew there was some kind of break here there is definitely some kind of break I didn't even see if this was zoomed in damn it sorry about that I've had a really crazy time with zooming shit in lately my apologies um, it's decision-making time it is time to make a decision what do you want? Be prepared to live with the consequences of your decision. Okay? There's an element of fear in this reading. You know, a fear. Fear of uh, either being a mother or having another child. Or fear of not being able to move on, be, being alone. You know, it could go both ways. Uh -huh. Okay, it's time to take action. You know that it is. It's decision making time. I told you that it was. Okay, it's time for you to make a decision. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And that's exactly what you're doing with that hermit card as the basis of your reading. And this goes for both, both scenarios, okay? It's time for you to step back. It's time for you to focus. It's time for you to focus on your future. It's a time of reflection. It's, to, it's a time of awareness. What do you want? Decide what you want and take action. Take action. It's like you're being chased. <laughs> Look at this. You are. It's like somebody is after you. Okay? And you're like, ah! Ah! You know? It's playful, but it's like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. You know, that guy, that's what I see. Um, and so you may be so scared of the whole situation that you're like, ah, you know, I don't, I don't want to be chased like this. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. That could certainly be the case for somebody. Not everybody, okay? So... Let's get to your question. I feel like um, I'm ready. Are you? You have it? Remember at the beginning I asked you to ask a question and we would see what the answer is? Let me get my book on this one in case I don't know what it means, but I probably do. We'll see. Are you ready? Lights? Camera? Action! Ooh! Be assertive. Speak your truth. Do, do what's right for you. That's the answer to your question. Be assertive. Speak up. Tell them what you want. That's the answer to your question. Tell them what you want. I'll read it to you just for the heck of it. The situation calls for you to take matters into your own hands. I told you that. You must get clear on your personal feelings and then pursue the fulfillment of your desires with courage and self-confidence. Wow. Ask for what you need without watering down your request in order to satisfy others. Like I said, tell them what you need. Tell them what you want. And don't water it down. Be assertive. Speak up. Anyhow, Capricorn, this is what I have for you. January 15th through January 21st. I wish you the best. Talk to you next time.